Ladies and gentlemen, now today we've got the confirmation of two really big things, man. The first is the ReZero collab is actually real. Puck is in the game on the new login calendar, and it's going to be happening on the Japanese and Korean versions from next Thursday onward. So we're probably going to have a big live stream on Wednesday revealing the new characters, the new content, and I'm very curious to see what they're going to do with this, um... Uh, then I think the slime collab and also the attack on Titan collab was so much fun with the Ifrit boss battle and also the colossal Titan boss battle. I must admit I did prefer the Ifrit in comparison because yeah, those like four player DPS race raids uh, were a little bit sketchy sometimes, man, and also very difficult to find a party for. Uh, but yeah, I'm very curious to see like what else is going to be coming with this collaboration. And I think collaborations are a very mixed mindset among the community because I think um. Uh, very historically speaking, every collaboration really hasn't been very free-to-play friendly because they have paywalled all of the cosmetics for collaboration characters. So hopefully they're going to have a bit of a different approach when it does come to this one. But also this coming this Thursday on the Japanese version means that it's probably going to be three to five weeks before we see this on global. So with the announcement of the Disaster Tower coming on the global version, I think on the 30th, the next banner release date, we're probably going to have the um uh, what is it, Green Valenti and Red Eastern banner, so it means that the ReZero collab, I think, is either to come on the 13th of April or the 27th. So, global players, if you want to save up, previous banner gems for collaboration uh, have been 600, and you get a randomized character at 600, but I don't know what they're going to do for this one in comparison. Uh, so, yeah, all the details are going to be out there, but global players, you have three weeks to save if you do want to summon on this collab. But again, I kind of hope these collaboration characters are, um... Uh, what is it really good but not quite top meta because it's always like very restrictive in terms of like the availability of these characters and they have never come back since the initial release like the slime characters haven't come back the attack on titan characters the kof characters and it seems to be something like they need a license to sell those characters and they can't like bring them back or put them in any additional banners at least that's the way that it seems so far because if they could add like levi mikasa erin to loads of banners to spice them up uh, uh, I think they would have done it already on many occasions. Um, so yeah, bear in mind these characters are going to be limited if you do want to get your hands on them. And the four that we have uh, confirmed, I believe from data mined, um assets are Beatrice, Amelia, Ram, and Rem. So I'm very, very excited for Amelia, man. Dude, I hope she's a friggin' beast in this game. So according to uh, early data miners stuff as well, Rem is apparently going to be similar to Blue Derriere, so maybe a bit of a tank unit there. Uh, Ram, we just got notes, she will be similar to a Liz. You know, there are lots of different Liz's in the game, so very, very hard to tell. Uh, Beatrice apparently will be similar to Oslo and Hall. Uh, which, you know, could be good if she does have the, um... Uh, the right skills and right stats there and also Amelia will have completely new skills apparently again I'm not too sure like what this entails or what it means but all of the information is probably going to be available on Wednesday so yeah I'm really really excited for this man I think collaborations like this are very good for the game overall again bring like a lot of new players a lot of new eyes to the game but also like the collaboration is very um uh, pay war than pay to win, I would say, in a lot of scenarios. Um, so yeah, it, it kind of depends, like, how you want to look at it, just for collection purposes. Uh, again, it is possible for free-to-play to get all these characters, but also with the pace of global and the banners that we've got kind of surrounding this, um, again, it's, it's all a little bit up in the air, but I'm also not too sure how many free summons we're gonna get. The King of Fighters collab was probably the most generous on the tickets and gave us, like, uh, 55 free summons on the banner, uh, so yeah, that was really, really nice. Like, five multis total there. Um, but yeah, aside from that, historically speaking, you usually get, like, uh, one or two free characters. Slime, we got free Benny Maru. Also, the SR Rimaru. Attack on Titan, we got SR uh, Erin, who is really, really good for a lot of stuff. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how they uh, they do this collaboration. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know your thoughts on the ReZero collaboration coming this week to the... Um, uh, the Japanese and Korean versions. Uh, and yeah, we'll have, uh, I assume, so many videos going up this week. So thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more content, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Take care, and I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. You are not subscribed to the whale sin of spending?
Who decided that? Subscribe now or enjoy the bitter taste of regret.